The Bliss Project is a transnational European project with St Helens as lead partners to look at ways in which we can introduce energy efficient street lighting. Now, lots of authorities have introduced uh, energy saving measures into street lighting, but what they're not looking at are the effects of reducing energy consumption. So what the project actually does, it looks at what the social impacts are reducing the levels of street lighting and also it looks at the possibility of other environmental impacts such as crime and road safety. And we were looking for an estate where we could trial different types of lighting. Coronation Drive Estate, it's a grid iron pattern of streets, typical suburban estate in St Helens. And so we thought about trying to introduce about six or seven different types of lighting in the estate. So from that, we should be able to draw some conclusions about which is the most effective type of lighting to introduce on these sorts of estates. In this street, we decided to keep the original 35 watt socks that was installed throughout the whole area. It's just for reference purposes, so that when we bring a focus group out, we can actually tell them, this is how your lighting was before we improved it. We installed some sun lighting in one of the streets. This is so that we can get a comparison with the LED and Cosmopolis lighting, which is white lighting, so that residents could compare and look at the differences between the two types of lights. We've got Philips Speedstar LED lighting. It's 4,000 degrees Kelvin, a 6 metre mountain height, and it can be compared with the lighting in this particular road here, which is the Cosmopolis lighting, 60 watt Cosmopolis, uh, which is 2,800 degrees Kelvin. And in this road, we've got the Philips uh, Speedstar lantern, and this is 5,600 degrees Kelvin. It's seen by some people as being quite a cold light. And certainly when compared with the Cosmo lighting in the adjacent street, it does look a lot colder. Certainly the new lighting that we put in there is to a much higher standard, enables people to recognise colours and see objects much more clearly than the lighting that was there before. The Tide Barn Road scheme, it's about a kilometre long, of a fairly fast 60 mile an hour road, a primary distributor that links two areas of St Helens. We thought that by replacing the existing socks and sun lighting with uh, the speed star lighting, LEDs, it would be a good test for that type of lantern and we believe it was the first full scale demonstration project in the world. It's a much improved quality of lighting being a white light and that's given great advantages to the motorist. It's much easier to see vehicles and to see pedestrians on the road. Additional to that, we've put some controls in it, which means that we can dim the lighting after midnight. So we take the lighting down to about 50% of its normal lighting level up to 6 o'clock in the morning. The Bliss project has resulted in quite considerable reductions in energy consumption. Moreover, the public have shown very great acceptance to what we've done. The surveys have shown that about 78% of residents prefer the white lighting, that's a Cosmopolis type lighting or an LED lighting, because also we're getting something like a 25 to 50% saving in energy, it makes good sense to install in these sort of areas. We've been in discussion all along on the project with Philips. I think Philips are gaining quite a lot from being able to show people and demonstrate the different types of products in a real life situation where the public can see the lighting and experience it. And we're gaining because we're understanding what are the best colour temperatures and what are the best type of lighting we should be using.